I first started to weave um, paniko as a child. I was taught, uh, fortunately, by um, Heitiki Blair, or oh, Heitiki, she was a Leonard, and um, my mother sent me to her next door to learn how to paniko from when I was eight. And so I, I learned those skills. In my teens, I was taught to Raranga Harakiki um, by Te Arani Tini from Tūranga Waiwai. Um, she was my sister's mother-in-law, and so she taught me. And after that, later on, we were introduced to Te Awe Davis, who came south here, and she taught me to Fatu Muka, and, um, and then taught me how to do whakairo work and whariki. Yes. Stripping, the, stripping the fibre from the flax with a muscle shell. Yeah. And then middle, middle, and wash it, and, um, mm. and then weave it. Well, my first tarnical piece, we, we had to learn to make our own um, bodices for school. I went to Whakarewarewa um, Native School and um, we were, you know, each whānau, well, either your, your family or someone had to make your, you had to make your own bodice. So I guess my mum felt that I was up for it myself, that I could do that, which is why she sent me to learn, um, and I did. I, I achieved that and I made my own bodice. It's really, really important to nurture, foster, promote Māori women. We haven't had a great run, you know, in the past. Even now, a lot of things are, are pitched against us. However, I think as long as we stay positive, we support what each other does. You can just about achieve anything. But I have to meet to my parents and, and my whānau and my hapu who raised me. All the values and the learning, yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm just thankful to all those people that have shared, that have shared their knowledge and their skills with me over the years and, and I hope I be able to continue to do that with others. There's no point in, in knowing, knowing how to do all this mahi if you don't share it and don't teach others.